Hey everybody, taking two. Um, a truck pulled up behind me and blew its horn at me, apparently thinking that I was a miscreant up to no good. No, I'm just recording videos for YouTube, dude. Um, he's gone now, or at least he's doing a loop around another part of the park. He'll probably go by in a second, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. Um, also, my eye won't stop watering because it's so freaking cold coming off of the lake, but I'm not crying, I promise you. <laughs> If I am, you'll know. It's really ugly. I look like a basset hound. That, I don't remember where that line is from, but it definitely, definitely is true of me. So I decided that today uh, it's cold, so I'm not gonna try to belt any high notes. And um, I wanted to showcase Fred Small, who is a favorite uh, folk song artist of mine. He really put his money where his mouth is. He brought his guitar with him and became a Universalist Unitarian minister and now is actually kind of a big cheese in Universal Unitarianist circles in Boston, um, and I super love the man. Um, he was fighting for, he was fighting for the stuff that I'm fighting for now before I was born. So I, I really respect him. This is called Talking Wheelchair Blues. <clears throat> well, I went for a jog in the city air, met a woman in a wheelchair, said, I'm sorry to see your handicap. She said, what makes you think a thing like that? And she looks at me real steady and she says, you want a drag? So she starts to roll and I start to run and she beat the pants off my aching buns. You know, coming uphill, I'd hit my stride, but going down, she'd sail on by. When I finally caught up with her, she said, not bad for somebody able-bodied. You know, with adequate care and supervision, you could be taught simple tasks. So how about something to eat? I said, that'd suit me fine. We're near a favorite place of mine. So we moseyed on over there, but the only way in was up a flight of stairs. Well, I never noticed that, said I. No problem, the maitre d' replied. There's a service elevator around the back. So we made it up the stairs on the elevator with the garbage flies and last week's potatoes. I said I'd like a table for my friend and me. He said I'll try to find one out of the way. Then he whispers, uh, she gonna be sick? I mean, pee on the floor, throw some kind of fit? I said, no, I don't think so. I think she once had polio, but that was 20 years ago. See, the fact of the matter is, she can't walk. So he points to a table, she wheels a chair. Some people look down and others stare and mother grabs her little girl, says, keep away, honey, that woman's ill. We felt right welcome. Then a fellow walks up and starts to babble about the devil and the Holy Bible says, we're going to march with flesh of sin and pray to Jesus you'll walk again. And the waiter says, what can I get for you? I said, I'll have your best imported brew. And he says, what about her? I said, what about who? He says, her. I said, oh, you mean my friend here? He says, yeah. I say, what about her? What does she want? Why don't you ask her? And he apologizes. Says he never waited on a cripple before. We immediately nominated him for Secretary of the Interior. <sighs> well, she talked to the manager when we're through, said there's some things you could do to make it easier for folks in wheelchairs. He says, oh, that's not necessary. Handicap never come here anyway. Well, I said good night to my newfound friend. I said, I'm beginning to understand a little bit of how it feels to roll through life on a set of wheels. She said, don't feel sorry, don't feel sad. I'll take the good along with the bad. See, I was arrested once at a protest demo and the police had to let me go. See, they were protesting the fact that public buildings aren't wheelchair accessible. Turns out the jail was the same way. Anyway, I look at it this way. In 50 years, you'll all be in worse shape than I am now. See, we're all the same, this human race. Some of us are called disabled and the rest, well, the rest of you are just temporarily able-bodied. I'm gonna be honest, it is not too cold. I am crying um, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's not anything to do with this. I'm underslept, stuff's stressful. I've done three takes of this video, can't stop crying in them. I'm just gonna post this because my goal is a daily video and if this is what my head is gonna give me, then this is what I'm gonna share. Um, I love you all. Um, check out my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Morgan Blake. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.